In this segment, we'll demonstrate SimTable's ownership layer capability. As you can see here, our chosen geography is Reserve New Mexico. We'll enhance our map by using our laser pointer to point at our shapefile checkboxes and add in some slope shading, some roads, and some houses. As you see, we now have an ownership layer button here, as well as an ownership GIS shapefile checkbox here. We'll now go ahead and click on the ownership button to bring up the ownership layer. Now our land assets are color coded according to ownership as well as boundary. By clicking on the ownership checkbox here, we can begin to see these boundaries over other layers such as topography as well as fuels. These shapefile boundaries can be toggled in and out over any layer by simply clicking the checkbox. As we return to the ownership layer, we'll set the wind here in a northeasterly direction and begin a fire simulation that can travel across these land asset boundaries. You'll see that our key in the bottom left of the table is running a tally of the affected acreage according to ownership. As we toggle back to our topography layer, we can still see our active fire progression as it crosses over our ownership boundaries. Now we can begin to train and plan for issues arising from interagency cooperation and handoff across jurisdictional boundaries. This concludes the demonstration of SimTable's ownership layers capability. We thank you for your time and for your interest. Please find more information on how to contact us at SimTable.com.